Hello and good evening. I'm Christopher Lesane, the Interim Dean of Student Life, the Athletic Director, and the 10th grade health teacher. And although we started off virtually learning, I am so excited for the school year. Let's go Wolfpack! Good evening parents. Thank you for coming to the Back to School Night virtual for DVCR. I am Ms. McNulty and I am teaching your sophomores the class of 2023, their theology class, along with Father Janelle. This year, Father Janelle and I will be working with your students on learning about salvation history. That starts with the Old Testament and the stories for the, that are in the Old Testament and how that reflects on their life today. And then in the spring, we'll be moving into the church and its mission and how the mission of the church is carried out in the world today. There also is a service component to the sophomore year, which Father Janelle will be sending out information about from his office in campus ministry. If there's anything that you need from me or would like to contact me, um, please do, through, do so through email. And you can find that on the school website. If you have trouble finding it, the student will be able to help you. Again, thank you so very much for coming back and spending time with us tonight. And we look forward to hopefully meeting you in the new year. Thank you. Welcome to English 2. My name is Emily Entz, and I am your child's English teacher this year. This is just a little bit about me. Um, this is my sixth year teaching at DBCR, but I have been teaching for about 12 years total. Um, I received a bachelor's in English with an emphasis in secondary education from Grand Valley State University. Grand Valley is a pretty large school in the state of Michigan. I also received a master's of education with an emphasis in curriculum and instruction from the University of Maryland. Um, a little bit about the class as a whole is that we focus a lot on reading comprehension and writing skills, which means we read and write a lot. Um, and so here are some of the books that we will be reading this year. We'll start with um, the Greek tragedy of Antigone. We will then read the Iranian graphic novel Persepolis. And we will end the year with a Nigerian novel, Things Fall Apart. Throughout the year, we will also have short stories and poetry that we examine. If your child is in my honors class, our makeup is a little bit different. We also start with Antigone, but then we will read the Indian novel, The White Tiger, and then we will end our year with the Nigerian novel, The Purple Hibiscus, and also reading short stories and poetry throughout the year. If you need to contact me, the best way to do it is through email. My email address is eenz at dbcr.org. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you need to. Thank you. My name is Father Zionel Victor. I am the youth minister for the school. And I'm also teaching our two sections of theology to the sophomores. So the two main topics I will be teaching this year are mainly uh, salvation history, uh, which is the mission of Jesus, and the second is the mission of Jesus in the church and in our lives. So those are two main topics I will be teaching to the sophomores. And of course, you know, both have been broken into into uh, subtopics and, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, my expectations for the sophomores are many uh, first, you know, to be respectful. Uh, uh, second is to be responsible. And then lastly, is for them to, uh, you know, uh, to 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 do what they have to do. So there are not many rules. So I have more in the syllabus. So if you need to know more of what you know is expecting of the uh, sophomores, please uh, check out the syllabus which the sophomores have, and there are teams. So if you have any questions, if you need to contact me by for any question for anything, uh, please uh, you can email me at dvictor at dbcr.org, or you can call when we are back in the school building. Uh, you can use uh, the phone or to call but feel free to call to contact me at any time uh, that you have any questions or concerns uh, regarding uh something in class or whatever it may be uh just one thing to to say and i will also be teaching you the theology of the body uh to those two sections uh, basically it's uh it's, it's it's a topic that will be teaching you know, that will be teaching the uh, sophomores how to love themselves and how to love uh, all this responsibly uh again you know so if you need to know more about it, so uh, you can contact me and I will be more than happy to uh, to tell you about it. So once again, so if you need to get in touch with me, 
uh, the best way is via email. Is at dvictor at dbco.org. So I do thank you for entrusting us with your with your children, and and we are doing our best, especially during this time, uh, to help them in the best way possible. So it's not the easy, you know, it's not easy, both for 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 you and for them, even for us. But we are trying our best. So please uh, do know that you know we are doing our best to uh, to help your students. So I hope you have a good day and God bless. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Mr. Backus. I teach biology to sophomores. Um, I'm very excited to have your um, student in my class this year. The best way to reach me is at my email address, um, cbacas at dvcr.org. So that's the best way to reach me. Please email me if you have any questions about, you know, what, what we're doing in class, um, any grades, anything like that. We're gonna be talking about the structure and function. So kind of exploring uh, cells, going from cells and what cells are made out of all the way up until um, we get to larger organisms. We're gonna talk about how exactly we inherit our characteristics, like why we look the way we do. Um, we're going to be talking about how organisms get energy in the environment. We're going to be doing a stream study where we get to go outside if this school year allows us. Email me if you have any questions. And I'm really excited for this school year. Hello, parents. My name is Andrea Fuller. I'm your child technology teacher from last school year. This year, I'll be preparing the student to do the Microsoft Excel certification exam. Hello, my name is Sam Chapa. I teach world history to the sophomore level. I'm also the social studies department chair, as well as I've been teaching at Don Bosco for 10 years now. I'm intimidated, but also excited about the challenge of teaching online. I think this is going to give us a lot of opportunities this year uh, to engage students, to include technology, and to teach in unique and, and challenging ways. However, I recognize that there will be frustrations, both on my behalf as well as the students' behalf, as we change and adapt to this new culture and this new style of, of teaching. Uh, we'll work together and know that if I recognize any issues, I will reach out to you. And likewise, I expect if you see any issues, please reach out to me um, and we'll talk about contact information in just a, a moment. So just a couple of grounders and, and basics that you should know. This is the textbook that we'll be using. It's World History and Geography. It's bright orange. Um, and you should see your student using this, reading, and doing activities, uh, I want to make sure that there are certain things, activities that computers shut off for, that they're not using technology all the time. However, much of what we're going to be doing is going to be technology-based, showing videos, sharing articles, and even some of the primary sources, that's the actual documents that are historical evidence. So I want to show you a little bit of the platform that I'll be using to share that with your students, with your students, um, and then at the end of this, give you a little bit of contact information. So jumping in, I'm going to share the screen with our Teams page. This is the site that we are using to share all the assignments and share some of the documents. And so this is the landing page for, for example, my fifth period class. Um, your child might be in fourth period, fifth period, sixth period, or seventh period. And so the meeting times and the meeting dates will differ. So don't uh, assume that this is your child's meeting time. But each class will meet twice a week and that will be one hour Zoom sessions each of those times. For example, fifth period, is Tuesdays and Fridays. However, one of my classes is Mondays and Thursdays. So I uh, just wanna keep you aware of those kind of things. And then they can find that information here on the Teams page. They can also communicate via this Teams page. But then on the left-hand side, you'll see that each week we have different assignments. And these assignments are recorded here so that you can see what the students are expected to do during the Zoom session, between Zoom sessions, as well as at the end of the week. And for my class, our assignments are going to be due on Fridays. And so they're, assignments are going to be due at the end of the week, and this is what is expected for them to do by that point. So you should see them doing work throughout the week, not just Friday night, hurry, uh, rushing to do it, um, and spacing it out a little bit. Uh, the files will be shared here, and so I'll show you just an example up here at the top. We have files, and so they can see the PowerPoint for each of the classes. Once the uh, recording happens, they can actually rewatch the recording of one of our Zoom sessions, and then also certain texts and certain parts of things will be shared on, on Teams as well. Teams will also be a place they can do certain assignments. And so, for example, using the Flipgrid tab, they can record 
responses. And so they can record short videos that they and their peers then respond to and they talk to each other through. Um, and so this is something that I look forward to engaging so that they get to see each other and talk to each other even though it is distanced. That's kind of the summary of this class. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is schapa at dbcr.com, or sorry, dbcr.org, or you can reach out to the main office and they can connect us. Thank you so much, and I look forward to a great year with your students.